Remember, Osama bin Laden was a CIA asset. Back when the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, the CIA threw its support behind the Muslim extremists, the Mujahideen, and helped to organize all of those forces to fight the Soviets to a stalemate. Our CIA employed Osama bin Laden. We gave him funding. We gave him weapons. We gave him weapons training and logistical support. Throughout the 80s, we were actually, we had CIA paramilitary officers on the ground in Afghanistan working directly with Osama bin Laden and the Mujahideen. The CIA worked not only with bin Laden, but also with this guy, uh, Gubaldin Hekmader, I don't know how you pronounce it, something like that. He's a notorious heroin dealer who was close to bin Laden. We gave this guy over $600 million in aid and helped, the, helped him to run the heroin trade out of Afghanistan to fund black ops. These CIA assets and their multinational networks came to be known by the name the base, which in Arabic translates to Al-Qaeda. So the Al-Qaeda network was a creation of our own CIA. So in 1998, there was a series of false flag attacks against U.S. embassies over there. And it's no surprise to learn that those that carried out the attacks were Al-Qaeda operatives. I say they're false flags, though, because while it was Al-Qaeda that carried out the attacks, they were doing it according to plans that had been laid out by their puppet masters in the CIA. Now, I'm going to tell you about those attacks and how they led to the expansion of CIA operations uh, there in Somalia in this next video. It's absolutely crazy, this stuff that the CIA does around the world. I'm going to tell you about it next time.